Hi guys, Suzanne HB here, Crazy Just Might Work on Instagram, and this tutorial is on the uh, Restore bracelet that I made just recently. It's pretty simple, so I thought I'd do a quick tutorial. The Refine bracelet is um, a bit of a variation on it, so I might do a quick tutorial on that too. It's a chain based design, so you start with a chain. I thought ahead and actually started the chain with the border colour. And did all the rest of it in blue um, and then you could work into the um, cat band with the cat band in that open position so this is the colors I'm going to use today I've just um, made the chain a bit longer because I'm not going to do a full one uh, I'm only going to do up to where the cat band is uh, sorry not with the cat band where the C clip is uh, but it just gives me a little bit more to hang on to um, you'll need to make it slightly longer than your wrist because it does pull in a little bit. Okay, it's a really straightforward design. First thing you're going to do is go up through the cap band and then work three chains. So one, two, three, and then you have to look at it from the cap band. So grab the cap band and have a look at what you've created there. You'll see that the way I'm holding it now, the loops on the chain are running the same way as the loops on that new chain that I've just made on there. While you've got it in that position, we're going to go down inside that side of the loop, just one little bit of the loop, and that one, and pick it up. I'm going to pull a band through those two we've just picked up, and the left hand side of the next one. Connect that, get both of those loops on the left under the loop on the right. And that's the sequence. Start again with three chains. So one, two, three, Again, with the cat band facing this way, you want the loop in facing this direction. I'm going to grab this. So it's just that one corner of that, and then you're going to grab the right-hand front loop of the chain two up. Skip one, and grab the next one up. And you're going to pull through band through three, connect it and put those left two under the right one. Another three chains. So as you see it's pretty straightforward. So one, two, three. The only trick to getting it look, to look the same is to make sure you don't have it sitting this way. See that loop is in like a teardrop shape as opposed to this way, which is like the rainbow shape. So you want it in the rainbow shape and you want to pick up that one closest to the chain. Skip one, pick up that right hand front one. Grab another band. Pull through three loops. Connect and pull those left two under the right one. Okay, so I'll do the last one on this side, and then I'll swap over and show you what it looks like when you're doing it down the other direction. It's the same um, sequence, but you just have to pick up, make sure you're picking up correctly. Okay, so when it's facing this way, you need to pick up not this loop here, but turn it around so it looks like a rainbow. Pick up that front loop closest to the chain, skip one, pick this one up. Pull a band through three loops and get that right hand band over the left hand band. Okay. When you get up to the length that you need, you're going in through the back of the chain so that you're picking up the whole chain and just pop a band through and secure it somehow. I'm just going to loop that one. 
for the moment and hope it stays. Okay, so coming back down in the other direction, it's the same sequence, but you're going to be working in towards the chain this way. So we're going to go through the cap band and pick up three. Let's see if I can get that lightened up a little bit. No. There we go. Okay, so that's one, two, three. So you just do that chain of three. Now again, you want the opening of these chains to be towards the cap band. And you're going to pick up the one closest to the center chain on the front there. So I've turned it round, I've got the cap band at the top, picking up the one closest to the center chain and the front loop of the center chain. So it'll be the opposite loop than you, as you picked up on the way down the other side. Pull through a loop, a band through three loops and then pick it up and flip that right hand one over. Okay. I'm hoping you can see so when you flip that over that should match both sides. So for the next one to be a little slightly easier. Let's just see if I can lighten this up. I'm just having a bit of trouble with my lighting. Again, three chains. One, two, three. Now you want the opening of the chains to be facing down toward the cap band. So if I turned it round they'd be making a rainbow the same as they did before but because we're working back down in this direction we can go in through that one closest to the cap band sorry closest to the center chain skip a chain in the center and pick up that front loop put a band through three and flip that top one over A couple more. So we have one, two, three. You can tell to see that side that this end of the hook is coming out, that's the side that you want to be facing up. You grab that one, skip a center chain, and grab the next one up, just that one loop. Pull through three, two, three, and flip this one over the top, like so. Okay, so we'll do one more. Grab a few more pans. One, two, three simple chain. The side the hook is sticking out, you want that to be facing up. Grab that front loop closest to the center chain. Skip one and go up to the one that's opposite, if one you've picked up before. Pick a band through three and then flip that one over the top or we'll take the two underneath. Okay, so then you're going to go, since this is the front of the bracelet, you're going to go around through the back of the bracelet and grab a band and pull through. Like so. Okay.